Hi guys, what's up? Sherry here from Nofix Giving Crew. How's it going? So, this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for uh, September the 23rd until the 30th. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so, they're doing some construction work just outside of my window here. Um, so, hopefully they don't get too loud. I've been putting off this reading um, for too long. <laughs> there, you can hear them probably. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to be using the Call It Baron Read Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull the cards first. I think I'm going to do a split divine partnership reading. And I may use my cards for clarifiers. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, so let me give those a quick shuffle. Okay, so beginning with how you view the masculine. Truth be told. So this is about being open, um, exposing yourself, being vulnerable. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I hope it, the um, construction is a little distracting for me, so I'll try to pay attention here. Okay, so it says, Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. So the relationship message, people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in a heartfelt open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and your experiences up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back, speak your truth and listen. So the feminine desires the masculine to open up, to expose himself, to you know, have a heartfelt conversation, you know, stop hiding, stop um, pushing her away. So, you know, in terms of how she feels about the masculine, there's a sense that she's an open book and she wants the masculine to be an open book as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some clarifiers. So the Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Cups um, is knowing what you want, but not knowing how to get there. So there's a lot of choices. Uh, so you're feeling confused, um, you know, but the message in this card is to follow your heart. So you've followed your heart in the past. You've been in this state of not knowing for some time now. Um, your present moment, you are working on something in the 3D reality. You're planning for something, for um, a long-term goal. So you want something to manifest. And so you're improving or honing your skills. So whether that be, you know, um, going to school, um, doing research, um, you know, and it could even be like a new business opportunity, a new job or career. There's something new that's starting in your life and so you're focusing your attention on that. Uh, the future position is um, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a movement forward. Um, so we see a progression here from the page to the Knight. That's beautiful. So you're taking those plans, you're that, um, that knowledge, that wisdom, and then you're moving forward with it. So this usually represents slowing down. It's a very long journey. Um, so there's a lot of effort that's been put, put forth in this uh, relationship and you're continuing to work and to work on it you want it to manifest into the 3d um, 
but you know there's a sense that you're waiting for some kind of communication or you want um, some openness because there's been so much confusion in the past in terms of where this is going it's almost like you feminine are taking control of the reins and directing your attention elsewhere um, you're focusing more on long-term goals rather than um, you know being lost in that haze it's like you're taking control of your life and you're moving forward with something that's different for everybody so what are you resisting okay so this came in reverse I'm just gonna look at this okay so this is in fact um, in reverse so let me read that so it's to the sea Okay, so it says, being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. So let me read the reversed. So the protection message, when external conditions appear to block every attempt um, to move forward, there is no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience and ebb and flow, you are in a natural cycle. So know that things will flow again in due course. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting the fighting against the situation and learn to flow. Even when the tide is going out, relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach. And an ancient mariner's saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their ne nests. So there's a feeling here that um, maybe the feminine has hit a brick wall. Um, there's a sense that she is no longer putting any effort in, in terms of this relationship, in terms of this connection. Um, you know, she, again, is turning her attention elsewhere um, and focusing on mending the nets. You know what I mean? There's no point in fighting the current. So she's surrendering to it, surrendering to the flow. The King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So we got two court cards here. One is a fire sign, the other is an air sign. So, um, and also up here we have uh, earth energy as well. So the King of Wands past position, this is somebody who's very passionate, who is a leader, free spirited, they're, you know, the center of the sun, the center of attention. And so they, they can um, convince people, encourage people to, um, you know, more or less do their bidding, do the work for them. Um, he tells them what to do, he organizes. Um, rallies or revolutions that kind of thing so this is somebody who um, could be on a spiritual path or a spiritual leader so the past position there is this fiery passionate masculine energy so most of the time I associate the masculine with the kings and the queen with the feminine so you met your twin you met this person who sparked this passion within you um, he inspired you he enlightened you um, you know it's like he filled you with his power and the present position is the ten of cups so this is a happily ever after um, this is a feeling of harmony and bliss within the family as well as within romantic relationships so because it's in the resisting position there's a sense that you're refusing to see something or refusing to feel gratitude for the connection that you have with this masculine in the past position or you you feel that this dream of a happily ever after is fading away dissolving away because remember there's a sense that you have hit a brick wall right this is in reverse so you you're done fighting. You're done um, trying to win the approval. You're done trying to get somebody's attention. 
um, you have love for this person. It's unconditional. It's unwavering. But you, you, you're taking a different direction, or not even a change in direction. It's just like, you know, you you've let the reins go, and it's like you don't really give a fuck anymore. Um, the Queen of Wands is the Queen of No Fucks Given, right? So that's why I said that. And also, the future is the Queen of Swords. Um, this is an, could represent an air sign, but this is really you, the feminine, embodying um, this detached energy. The Queen of Swords is someone who um, is emotionally detached, um, but they express themselves in a motherly way. There is you know, love there, but I'm telling you this uh, because I love you, that kind of energy. She, she speaks her truth. She sees through bullshit. So she, it's like she has realized a truth about herself. Um, and she, you know, she's looking to the past. And, and like I said, she's seeing that brick wall. Um, so she's no longer willing to invest her time, her energy, uh, into something that seems to be going nowhere. Okay, so message from your higher self, come to the edge. Oh, wonderful. It's like they're banging on a drum or something out there. Awesome. So coming to the edge. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. So the relationship message, it's scary to be truly intimate with somebody, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts you've kept hidden and protected. Now it is time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe but to take a leap of faith. You would be glad that you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the, the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So your higher self, uh, feminine, is asking you to take a leap of faith, to trust, to move forward. Um, you know, and it's kind of similar energy to the, um, you know what? I am actually going to pause the video there. I'm not going to try to fight it. Um, it sounds like my daughter just got home too as well. So I'm going to flip all the cards around so we can return to them. All right. I will see you when things have calmed down a bit. Awesome. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Kind of, um, it's kind of ironic because it's, you know, that feeling of chaos surrounding you. You know, there's uh, construction outside and, you know, uh, my daughter is coming home. So it's like, you know, a little bit of noise going on. And it's like, ah, and it kind of points to this, you know, going with the flow. You feel like there are external forces that are blocking you. And so... You know, taking the advice of the card is just to surrender. Um, stop fighting, stop resisting. All right, so we're at come to the edge. So, yeah, this is all about opening yourself up, taking a leap of faith. Um, you know, showing your true self, um, speaking up, expressing yourself, showing yourself. And I was just noticing that milk and honey is all about that. It is being truly authentic, um, not wanting or not needing anything because you already feel like you have everything. So that is the overall energy of the reading. That was the bottom of the deck is milk and honey, um, feeling abundant, feeling whole and complete, not needing anything. So 
you know, coming to the edge, it's like, don't close yourself off. Over here we have, you know, truth be told, this is opening yourself. And here is a blockage. So it's like you are struggling to be able to express yourself and your higher self is, is telling you to do that, to open up. The Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Devil. So past position, Three of Pentacles, this is a firm foundation, grounded energy. Um, it's a successful start. Uh, of something in the 3D reality. And here we have you working hard towards a goal. So whatever it is that you've been working on, it is grounded, solid, firm. Um, but there, it, there's a sense that there's still more work to do and that's what you're doing. You're planning, you're working towards your future. And so the Six of Cups in the present moment is a reunion. Somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood um, it's memories of, of love, and uh, the love is pure and innocent. So you're being asked by your higher self to, you know, return to this innocent, pure state, free of expectations, uh, free of, you know, putting on a mask, um, just being free like a child. Um, expose yourself and you know so there's a sense that there has been a grounding of this connection into the 3d reality and that there is a sense that a reunion might take place um, or is coming towards you and to be careful not to block yourself because you know, show your true self, show your your innermost being. Don't block off, don't close yourself off. So the future position is the devil. So this is um, the ego. It is, um, you know, that whispering voice in your ear saying you're not good enough, um, you don't have enough to offer. Um, it's a chain that's holding you back in the 3D. So, you know, you feel that blockage with this card very strongly. You want something. You want, you know, this state of, you know, feeling like you've already arrived. But there's something that's out of reach. There's, you're shifting your focus. You're detaching yourself. So that is good in terms of detachment from this devil, no doubt about it. But don't use it as a crux. Don't use it, you know, the devil um, as something to hide behind. You know what I mean? Um, re release this energy, you know, feeling like you're being deceived or... or um, held back or constricted or do you know what I mean these are all illusions there is this connection that you have with the masculine it's solid it's there it's it's everlasting you know it's been there for eternity and it will be there for infinity you know it's Something like this, an energy like this, can't stand in its way unless you allow it to. So since I um, mentioned milk and honey, I'll go ahead and read that for you. So number 51. So the taste of prosperity, opportunity born of authenticity. Nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. So the relationship message, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Um, 
and I just kind of want to skip up to the oracle part of the message here. It says, um, uh, all of your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting, yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are living, that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. So, you know, it's a state of being, feeling like you have everything. And as a result, you attract that, that into your life, right? It seems to me like you're pushing, you're trying too hard to manifest um, something, especially with these cards and with the... Ten of Cups. By trying, you know, it's like you're you're pushing it away. Okay, so what is in your past is exchanging gifts. You can probably still hear somebody blow torching outside at the moment. I apologize, but at least it's a little quieter. Okay, so the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing the cost and determining the value. So love is an even exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order to love, in order for love to, to uh, flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as Offer the same gifts in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you, too. Love is truly yours today. So, in the past, you were open. You, you were giving of yourself. You know, it's like you were an open book and you wanted the masculine to do the same, or you feel that maybe he is starting to open, um, starting to express himself, starting to show parts of himself. You know, this is a card of being, you know, coming out of denial, starting to see things. Um, it's seeing the truth, um, telling the truth, and feeling the truth. It's like, You know, when you open up um, honest communication between you and another person, it there's a flow that happens between the two of you. There needs to be reciprocation, and that's what these two cards are talking about. Reciprocation, an even flow. You know, you create an environment um, for honesty and truth, and it will raise you to higher levels of consciousness. You know, and the connection is even deeper. You know, the bond is even deeper. So in the past, you were open. You were giving of yourself. You know, but now you feel that there's a blockage, like something is, you know, no matter how hard you try. Um, you know, what's that song by Linkin Park? Um, in the end, um, you know, I tried so hard, got so far, that kind of thing. It's that kind of energy. I keep trying, I keep giving of myself, but you know, that energy isn't reciprocated. So let me read that to you. Oh, did I already read it? Sorry, I'm having an ADHD moment here. Yeah, okay. So it says, you're entering into, or sorry, the law of giving and receiving, currency trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. So it's the relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as, the, as offer the same gifts in return. 
Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Okay, I'm, I'm reading it again. Oh my God, I'm such a loser. Love is yours today. So yeah, it's being open. Two of Wands, the Moon, and the Three of Cups. So the Two of Wands, past position. This is actually speaking to the past. So you've already made a decision to walk out that door, to expand your mind, see all the possibilities. Um, you know, and that's kind of what this card is talking about as well. It's more of an expansion and opening up. So you had these aha moments, you had these um, realizations, epiphanies, and you saw a life that was more in line with who you truly are, your true authentic self. And so you've embarked on that journey already. So the moon is in the present position. This is um, things that are unseen. It is fear, uh, anxiety, um, worries, you know, Things that are unknown cause this fear within you. So, you know, these are things that are left hidden beneath the surface. So you feel, you know, lost, clouded. Um, you, you're seeking answers. You want the truth to be spoken to you. You want this block to be released. But ultimately, you are the one that is you know, projecting this kind of energy out into the universe, right? Um, by not getting what you want, you are in fact, you know, putting out this energy of lack. And as a result, that's what you're going to get is more lack. So the future position is the Three of Cups. So this is celebrating love. You know, it's a formation of love, the uh, ignition of love. Uh, between two people. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be friendships. But in the future, you will be in a more loving space, more willing to enter that kind of friendship where, you know, that energy exchange is reciprocated. Because um, right now you feel like you're in a, you were in a darkened state. No, you know, it's like you cut yourself off. Um, but you will be opening up again. Okay, so present moment is mending. I think this is the last card. Yeah, it is. So it's the last card in this, this deck anyway. So forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. The relationship message. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you are to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The, needs, uh, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge the, uh, this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and honest redress. So, your present moment is healing, you know, and maybe you're trying to find a way to reconnect with the masculine. Um, but you're carrying around some pain, whether you know it or not. You know what I mean? It kind of goes back to this blockage energy. Um, having expectations. And when they, it didn't work out, then there's hard feelings, there's pain. Um, you know, that rejection. So, you, what I feel here is more you healing yourself at this time. You've given... A lot in the past your higher self is telling you to be open and take a leap of faith take a risk you know um, well, let's see what the confirmation cards are fool nine of Pentacles and wow that's crazy 
So the Fool card, past position, is the beginning of the Fool's journey. Here we have the completion of the Fool's journey. So this is zero, right? This is taking a leap of faith, having no expectations, being childlike, having that innocence about you, and moving forward. So it's coming in the past position. So you've already taken a leap of faith. There was this birth, you know, of childlike um, perspective that was birthed. And so you started a journey, not knowing where it's going to lead, you know, just moving forward. The Nine of Pentacles is in your present, present position. So this is an arrival. You feel accomplished. The Nine of Pentacles um, is one off from the ten you know the next card would be the queen then the king so you know there's this harvest that this ultimate abundance that is in your future um you, you're still trying to reach a goal you know of the ten and it's coming but ultimately you feel grounded you feel like you've arrived, you feel ready, you feel like you've accomplished a lot. Um, and so this card talks about self-love, you know, going for a massage, um, splurging a little on yourself, going to restaurants, taking um, a vacation. So, you know, this is all about you. You've, you've worked hard, you've accomplished a lot, and now it's time to look after yourself. So healing is important now. So the future position is the universe card. So again, it's the end of the fool's journey. So there's a major um, completion that is coming in your future. So, um, you know, this is source or spirit giving you a pat on the back saying look at what you've done this is amazing amazing so it's accomplishment so when you know that final piece of the puzzle is placed then a new journey begins again so this is kind of just showing how, how you've grown you've gone from this childlike pure um, spirit with no attachments and you've the growth that I see in this card is just incredible, you know, and you've reached this ultimate state of um, enlightenment or awareness on your journey. So there is a more abundance coming. You know, this is a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. So don't close yourself off is what I keep hearing. It's like you feel like you've given so much and you don't know what's happening with this connection um, and there's a sense that you want to free yourself um, and that's good you know if you're you're doing it from an authentic place you're not doing it out of resentment or you know feeling a you know betrayal it's like this is all growth that I see here I see it coming from a beautiful space you feel like you've already arrived. You feel like you have everything that you need. And there is movement forward. You know, the progress is slow, but um, just be careful of closing off. That's all that I keep hearing. Okay, so in the future position is Treasure Island, but in reverse. I was just noticing there's a nine, and then a nine, another nine. So nine, um, nine is the soul. Nine is, um, you know, where the spirit resides. And I'm referring to vortex-based math, by the way. So nine is a very powerful number. Um, I can put a link below. Um, yeah, so anyways, nine also means nearing the completion of something. So there's a sense that abundance or harvest or a moment of fruition is about to, to transpire. 
Okay, so, um, oops, wrong one. I can't really remember. I did the uh, Twin Flame reading for this week, um, last week, so I'm starting to remember it. It kind of had the same flavor. Be careful not to close yourself off, but disconnect in order to heal yourself. You know, it's like um, you're changing or switching your focus from the masculine to yourself out of self-love. Okay, so Treasure Island, the law of attraction, um, bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and sharing of good fortune. Okay, so that's what I was saying. There's a sense that there's this abundance that's coming into your life, but this is actually in reverse. So, poverty consciousness and the sense of not enough cast a shadow on your path these ideas and core beliefs come with high cost do you really want to pro proclaim yourself as a victim of disappointment and failed expectations are you avoiding success by because you will grow so tall that others might want to cut you down or is it possible that you're caught in fear that you will lose what you have acquired so you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunity to expand. You are challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitation to perception of abundance. Take a risk for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. So yeah, you know, there's that change in perception that I was talking about. You know, don't hide behind the devil, the mask. Don't close yourself off. Don't see, don't see yourself as giving too much of yourself and placing yourself in that feeling of lack. You, you have everything. You've accomplished so much. You've come so far. Right? So let me pull three cards for that. Queen of No Fucks Given. The chariot and the solar plexus chakra. So past position, we have the king and queen of wands. So this is you not giving a fuck, not being triggered by obnoxious behavior, by um, games that people play. You know, it, you're finding your own light within and you're shining it. You're not ashamed of yourself right? You, you express yourself. You enjoy being the center of attention. So you found your light in the past. You are being asked to continue to be that open spirit. Take risks, you know, find that power within yourself. Now, the king and queen are both you know, coming together in the past, so this sense that you met your twin flame or somebody who is passionate like you. Um, you know, there's this underlying passion for each other that I feel here. Um, so the chariot card, this is movement forward. It is taking control of your life. It is directing your energy towards your goal, towards the things that make you happy. So this is water, which is emotions. So, you know, it's overcoming challenges, just having confidence in yourself, right? Uh, rising to the challenge, basically. So your future position is a change in perception. Reclaim your power. Reclaim the direction of your life. Um, don't focus on lack. Because you already have everything you need. So the future position is a solar plexus chakra. So this is a lower chakra where the parasites reside. This is your fears. So you don't fear, feel that you have confidence. You feel like you're lacking. So this... When you feel that way, the chakra is activated or you're being asked to activate the chakra. So find that power, that strength. And that's what all these cards are all about. 
it's exerting your will onto the world. It's it's finding your, your strength and expressing it. And that's exactly what this card was saying. Come to the edge. Express yourself. Same with this card as well. Truth be told. You know, show those hidden um, parts of yourself. Be transparent. And not give any fucks. Don't let anything stop you. Okay, so chop wood for message from the universe. So it says, being grounded in everyday experience and humility. And right away, I'm being drawn to that center cluster of cards. Grounded, being grounded, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you know, there's a sense of you knowing your direction, but you need to reclaim that, that power, that strength. Okay, so... Nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks at the, at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work just to be all as well, really. So you, the universe is telling you, not you know, your, your higher self is saying to be open, but yet the universe is telling you to be present, be receptive, be open. Be in this space right now. You know, the relationship doesn't have to be this fiery ball of passion, right? So, you know, it's like you're trying to keep this fire lit. And the more you try, the more it rains. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so accept that. Um, accept that there's nothing that you can do right now and find gratitude in these smaller moments, these more simpler moments. The Death card, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. So past position, Death card, this is transformation, metamorphosis. It is death of the ego, death of your old identity. So it is cutting away things that no longer serve you. So what I'm feeling here, you know, especially with the mending card, um, and, you know, these three cards are kind of point. well, actually all four of these cards here, are kind of pointing to the fact that the feminine was feeling like she was giving so much of herself and um, she came to a point where she hit a brick wall. Do you know what I mean? And what I'm, actually, that's, it's kind of funny, I'm thinking of a song, um, by Flex Pavilion, oh, Bass Cannon. Okay, if you if you watch the video, it's like, you know, they start off with a low bass and then every once in a while they keep turning the bass up. And these people are tied to a chair and they're like, you know, the hair is flying all over, over the place and it's affecting them. So I almost feel like you turned up a notch, either you got triggered or, or your expectations weren't met and so you kind of went into this um, state of fluster and so spirit turned the bass up a little bit higher you know what I mean and it's it got to a culmination point is what I'm feeling it's almost like this rubber band was stretching so far and then it snapped and you're closing off or have closed off and now you're getting an awakening call basically is what I'm feeling here so you put a, an end to something, whether it be the connection between you and the masculine or just your, you know, the ego is still there. It's staring you in the face. There it is. This is energy that needs to be cleared away, right? If you hold on to that pain, then it's just going to eat at you. You're going to carry it around and you will hold that resentment for that person. 
you know, and it will always be there. So, you know, it's like this whole journey to awareness or awakening is the fact that you're caught in these conditioned responses. And the, the natural thing to do is to want to close off, right? To let the ego get, the hold, get a hold of you, get the better of you. So raise your vibration. Um, you know, clear away the things that are no longer serving you. Take that broom, brush it away, um, you know, and start, again, focusing on what you already have. The Eight of Pentacles uh, is a message from the universe, and the way you are feeling in this moment is the Nine of Pentacles. And then the milk and honey is that grounded energy. So the universe is saying that you have so much abundance in your life. You've worked so hard and enjoy those richer, riches. There is, you know, this represents positive movement forward. You've come so far. Look what you've sacrificed. Look what you've released. You know, you've cut away that moon. You've cut away um, fantasies, um, illusions, fears. So there is reward coming to you. So just, you know, and the, this, these two cards kind of have very similar energy, right? This person is um, tending to a garden, right? And here this person is sweeping. So here things have been cut away, and now you're just kind of clearing that rubbish and actually focusing on growth. So this is a time of growth, right? And... You know, because there is no reciprocation here, like I said, there there may have been a point where you became closed off to concentrate on yourself, right? Just be careful, okay? So the Six of Swords, Future Position, this is making a decision to move on from negative thoughts, negative people, negative energy, once and for all. Put it behind you. Good riddance. Fuck off. For fucking real. No more of that garbage holding you back. No more fears. No more blockages, right? You hold the key to your own door. To, you have the key to free yourself. So open that door. Okay, so message, or sorry, this is your external environment is soulmates. How beautiful. So soulmates, actually, they, that's what I was referring to earlier, you know, um, people come into your life, your twin flame comes into your life to open your awareness, to take you to higher levels of consciousness. And it is through pain um, and healing and forgiveness that a door is opened. You know what I mean? You discover who you truly are, your true authentic self. You're not playing games anymore. You are living in truth, and that's what the soulmate does. Your twin flame um, teaches you how to um, surrender, how to, you know, I love unconditionally, right, without attachments. But they're here to help you grow. So, 41... Oh, good, that noise stopped. Oops, that's 31. Sorry. 41. So, harmonious partnerships, love, friendships, companionship. A relationship fostering personal growth. So, consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. To the real you. Right? It's almost like the final um, I don't know I 
the final swing of the axe. Do you know what I mean? Like putting a, an end to that devil ego energy once and for all. So, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame is here to guide you home to yourself, not home to him or to her, to yourself. They, they open the door. They expose who you are. Right? So show yourself. Dance. Be free. Realize that you have everything. I want to turn this card up, upright. Treasure Island. Abundance. Um, yeah. So anyway. Um, so three cards. Nice. You can't plan this shit. You cannot plan this shit at all. Holy fuck. So this is the Divine Feminine, the Empress. This is you living your true authentic life, knowing who you are. So you've discovered who you are in the past and you feel that a part of you is lost perhaps or being lost or I don't know. Wow, Third Eye Chakra and King of Swords. So. This is your external environment. So it's obviously energy that's coming from your masculine. He is here. It seems to me like you're going through a difficult period of time here, you know, especially with these reversed cards and the devil, you know, feeling that blockage, feeling um, yeah, I don't know. Um, that energy of soulmate true love, twin flame, is coming from the external, from the masculine. And he is the one who is taking you home to your truth, to your true authentic self. He's there for that purpose. So don't close him off, mend those wounds, heal. And, you know, when you open that space, the feeling is then reciprocated. Even though it may not have been reciprocated in the past, don't expect anything. Don't be in this place of lack. So the third eye chakra is higher chakra. It is when you go within and you listen to your inner voice, your inner knowing, the truth of who you are, you know that this connection is real. You can feel him. You can see him. Um... So it could be an air sign, but really the king of swords is that ultimate clarity, the truth be told. And it's kind of interesting how the king and the queen of swords is in the future. Beautiful synchronicity here. So there's this point where the both of you come to this clarity. You know, it's like you both come together to defeat the devil. Do you know what I mean? Or, you know, since the Six of Swords is in the future over here, maybe there's a period of separation because, you know, Spirit is asking you to, to, you know, be in a state of inaction, just be in the now, be, enjoy this moment. So maybe there is a separation in order to consider, but I, what I'm really feeling is this moment of clarity. Now, this card, these cards also mean communication, so remember how you saw this connection was that you want the truth to be told, you want him to be open, or you may be feeling that he's starting to open, you know, but the energy isn't reciprocated. You know, these cards are all about reciprocation, feeling lack, feeling like there's something missing, feeling like you're hitting a block. So, he may come to you and tell you his truth, speak his truth. Um, because that's what he's here to do. He's here to show you who you are. The King of Swords is also someone who takes action as well, someone who plans and takes action. But what I really feel is that the masculine will come to you to show you who you are. And what you're doing is really just walking away from any negative thinking again. It's like looking to the past and see what you, where, how far you've already come. You know what I mean? Returning to that pure state of bliss, you know, innocence, freedom, childlike innocence. 
So don't be afraid of union. Don't be afraid of reaching out, reconnecting with somebody, and mending those bonds. You know, be that open book. So not for you was in reverse. So this is what you fear. Six. Six. I thought I saw another six somewhere. Oh yeah, six here. Seven, seven, so five, two fives, two sixes, two sevens, and three nines. So five is like making a decision. Uh, sixes is relationships, connections. And sevens is like, like a transition kind of energy. So not for you. And I was just noticing, it's almost like okay, there's a hand kind of like, it's like the world is turned upside down here. The card is supposed to look this way, right? So the world is upside down. And it's almost like, you know, it's almost like a grave or a coffin or something like that. And the lid is being closed. I don't know. That's what came to mind. It's kind of dreary, right? But not for you. Okay, well, let me read it anyway. Um... So it's almost like you're putting an end to something, you know. So it's in your fear position. Let's read it. Okay, a clear knowing that something is being denied you. Rejection is God's protection. So in reverse, don't chase after what flees from you. Don't obsess over what eludes you. Don't bang your head against the wall. There is nothing romantic about what is unavailable. No prize will be give, given for torturing yourself. And nothing to be gained by refusing to see the red flags that have been waving since you began your pursuit. Now is the time to walk away. There are other goals, other loves, other games, other successes waiting for you. The way out of obsessing is radical acceptance and surrender. Spirit wants only the best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you. So trust. So you fear that maybe there, ha there has come a time where you need to walk away from this connection. Um, you fear, you know, that he is not for you. That you feel, you know, here that I was feeling like things aren't being reciprocated, right? So. What I was feeling is that you're giving a lot of yourself and you've, I feel like you're closing off. You're hitting bricks or brick walls. Um, and you're producing a sense of lack in your reality. So this is all coming from the ego whispering in your mind, you know, telling you to that he's not for you, that he's not worth it, that he is never going to open, that he's never going to feel the same way, that... You know, um, he's never going to come home, this kind of thing, right? So this is exactly what needs to be released. This should actually be right in the center, you know, but Spirit is asking you to heal and realize how far you've come. This isn't a journey to him. I always say that twin flame union or that this, this connection isn't about union. It is about awakening. So you fear he's not for you. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Nice. So, Two of Pentacles, past position. This is a seed of intention being planted. This is an idea of being planted in 3D reality. Okay, so again, it harkens back to that page. Um, you know, you are changing your environment, you are working on manifesting this abundance into your reality. So in the past, you were resi resilient, you were bending with the wind, you were giving and allowing things to change, right? You were in this space of giving and receiving. Um, so the environment was changing and where's that three pentacles? Um, right here. And it's growing. Right, there's a firm foundation, solid grounded energy there. 
um, it has grown into this beautiful tree in the present moment. So realize how far you've come. Um, the Ace of Swords, present moment. This is a decision being made. It is a truth being told. It is an aha moment. It is speaking your truth. It's communication. So this woman is naked, so she's got nothing to hide. She's vulnerable. vulnerable. She's exposed. So you want the truth. You want to know if this is going anywhere. You want to know if it's if it's all an illusion or not. But really, you know that it isn't an illusion, right? He's your soulmate. But you're allowing the devil to get the better of you. So walk away from that kind of negative talk. Turn that treasure island upright. And be thankful for what you have. So the future position is the Three of Wands. Uh, so this is the thumbs up. Yeah, way to go. Nice synchronicity. Two of Wands in the past. You walked out that door. You expanded your mind. Right? Spirit, uh, your higher self is telling you to continue to expand. Um, and you're going to be seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay, so Wand energy is spirituality. It is... Um, uh, creative energy, it is inspiration, it is um, living your true authentic self or life, right? And you're getting a thumbs up from spirits telling you to keep going, that you're on the right path. Um, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pull... Ugh, I don't really want to edit. I kind of feel like a spaz for reading that thing twice. Should I leave it? Am I trying to be a perfectionist? No. That is who I am. I am a spaz, and I accept it. So that is who I am. All right. So let me actually put these two cards in, too. So I'm still not um, accepting any new readings right now. I'm, I'm booked solid for uh, at least two weeks. Um, if you want, you can, you know, send payment. Although, no, I got an automatic reply happening right now, so you won't be able to do that. I was going to say, if you want to send payment, you can hold place, but I really don't want to commit to any more readings until I've got the ones done that I have. Okay, so for the feminine first, nice. And masculine, nice. Okay. So immediately what I'm seeing here, this is the divine feminine. Okay. So again, wow, crazy synchronicity. Right, this is all about authenticity. This card, the divine feminine down here, and actually all of it is a journey to discovering yourself over and over and over again. Okay, so... Um, there's nothing for you to do at the moment. Just be in the space. Be in the now. Oh, Tiger Lily, my goddess, my grace, a vision of you stops a soul in its place. Such queenly compassion, such posture and poise, lets me know in an instant you are unlike the boys. So supple, symmetrical, shapely, and smooth. Such balance and ease in the way that you move. Your smile is of mercy, your manner of tact. Your beauty is apparent in each tender act. What love and kind charity shines on your face, O tiger lily, my goddess, my grace. A graceful young woman bedecked by bright tiger lilies tenderly holds a shell of a tiger nautilus close to her bosom. Her choice of adornment is reflective in her feminine beauty and elegant style. So the meaning, embrace your femininity. The feminine power is radiance that shines from women and girls who are securely anchored within their bodies and souls. Full of tenderness, love, beauty, and grace, the feminine power is soft yet strong. Now is the time to welcome this power. It is your right to be beautiful inside and out. Awaken the queen inside of you and let her blossom. Not a woman, not a problem. Look for opportunities to get closer to women in your life be it your mother, sister, lover, or wife. Try looking through her eyes to help you get in touch with your feminine side and allow her spirit and compassion to influence some upcoming decisions. Bam. 
So number 25. Oh. Not sure why I'm pulling a card for the masculine at this point. So I did it unconsciously. So I guess somebody needed to hear the masculine's point of view in this reading. <laughs> it could have been you masculines out there. Um, okay, so mermaid picking lotus blossoms. Dreams of purest perfection, power to exist in the light. Will I live in the world I imagine or dwell in my own endless night? Or is sanctuary waiting destined to be my abode? Will I catch the wild fever of wonderlust and journey down curious roads? No matter which path I will walk down, whatever I find I must pay. However much pain is required of me, my gods know I'm on my way. A lovely golden-haired mermaid sits upright in a pond covered with lily pads. She thoughtfully seeks out and selects a lotus blossom. A contemplative look is on her face. She is on a quest of faith, a quest of spiritual nature. So the meaning, you are seeking spiritual perfection. You are surrounded by options, mental, material, emotionally, emotional, and spiritual. Now is the time to focus your energy and select a path to search for spiritual perfection. Take your time and find the direction that is appropriate for you. And right away, I'm, I'm feeling this energy right here. Your twin flame is here to guide you to yourself, right? It's, it's uh, a path of enlightenment, illumination, right? And that's definitely what I'm feeling. It's like you are both on this path together. So take your time and find the direction that is appropriate for you. Experiment with new methods of communing with nature or your higher power through yoga, meditation, or religious study. Find a group who is seeking just as you are and who shares your ambitions. This is a time to move forward with an open mind and curious heart. Do not prejudge the path others are on and attend, attend a service with a family member or friend of a different faith. Read spiritual texts that are unfamiliar to you and take the time to experiment and walk into new territories. You never know where your new path may lead you. So, sorry if that reading was so scattered. <laughs> the construction kind of has my nerves a little bit rattled. But anyway, you know, the, it seems to me like the masculine, you know, is opening up. He's searching for himself as well. And you're both on this path. So, um, you know, mending is impo important now, not closing off your heart. Remember what it says? Uh, closing off your heart is not a good idea, right? So be open. Open that door. And show your true self. Expose yourself. You know, be transparent. All right, so I hope this helped. Love you much. Peace.